Hey, how's it going everybody? So I've got another video here for you and this one is really awesome. I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up over the last little while. So as you know, I was planning on doing some trades with my game store and I finally did it. I got rid of pretty much everything that I didn't really want. Um, my PS2 collection really got cut down a lot. Um, some Xbox games, some random accessories that I didn't even know I had. I don't even know why I picked them up. But um, I just got rid of everything, like screw it, I don't, I don't need this stuff. They weren't necessarily bad games that I traded in, but it's just games that I honestly don't see myself ever really playing. I don't care about having a big library of PS2 games, I just want a nice small one of just, you know, what I like. Because I don't really have as many fond memories of the PS2 as I have with the Nintendo 64 or the Sega Genesis or something like that. So I got a lot of cool stuff, but first I'm going to show you a Goodwill find. I went into Goodwill on Friday and they had some more Nintendo 64 games out, so I figured I'd grab a few. Um, they're nothing really special, but anytime you can find N64 games, you got to pick them up. First game I picked up was Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. I think this might be a label upgrade on mine, but I'm not sure, so I just picked it up. It was four bucks. And the other game, I know I don't have this, is Revolt. I don't know. The cover kind of looked cool, so I just picked it up. Why not? Four bucks. So now on to the trade. I picked up a lot of cool stuff. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll start with this. I picked up, in one of the trades I did, I picked up a Game Boy Color game, which was Harvest Moon on the Game Boy Color. Complete in the box, too, and it's in really nice shape. I enjoyed the Harvest Moon series. I think I only played them on the PS2 and the GameCube, so I never played the N64 version or anything other than the PS2 and the GameCube version. So I thought I'd pick this up. I definitely enjoyed the Harvest Moon series, so I'll give this game a go. It looks pretty cool. The next game I picked up was for a system that I haven't found any games for in a very long time, so I was really happy to be able to grab this game. And they, were, they weren't asking for very much for it. I think it was only like like 20 bucks, so I got it very easily. Um, generally their games are, are kind of overpriced, but sometimes, you know, sometimes there are some good deals that slip between the cracks. Um, and that game was for the Sega Saturn, which was Skeleton Warriors. I'm really happy to be able to pick up a, a Sega Saturn game. The case is kind of cracked, it's got this massive crack right through it. And sadly, this is an upgraded case. This isn't the original case that it came in. The original case was like, it was a lot worse, so that kind of sucks. I hate these Saturn cases, man. They're so difficult to find replacement cases for them. But yeah, Skeleton Warriors. And I picked up one NES game. I'm really happy to add this to my collection, and that is Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, complete in box. I'm really, really, really happy to be able to add this to my collection. The box is in, in very good shape, it's, it's really nice. And the cartridge, I already had the game, but I wanted it complete. And my cartridge was really just bad. I mean, the gold was scraped up everywhere. So, a nice upgrade and complete in the box too, that's fantastic, I'll do that all day. And the rest of the stuff I picked up was all Super Nintendo stuff. The first game I picked up was Spawn on the Super Nintendo. I don't know anything about it. I like Spawn, um, so I picked it up. Apparently it's a, a beat-em-up. It looks pretty cool from what I've seen of it online, the, the gameplay videos and all that. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next game I picked up was a game that I've been wanting to get for a while. I love this series and I only played the Sega CD version of it, so it's pretty cool to be able to finally have the Super Nintendo version. And that is Final Fight. I love beat-em-ups. I love the Sega CD version, so when I saw this, I was really happy to be able to pick it up and add it to my collection. And the last games are both complete in box. This, is, this game was a game that I've been looking for for a while as well, but I couldn't find it for a good price anywhere. People were always asking too much for it. But I found a complete in box version of it, really nice, really mint condition. It even comes with the baggie and, and the label is completely flawless. So I'm really, really, really happy to be able to add this to my collection. And that is Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. 
really excited to play this game and try it out. I've never played these Star Wars games on a Super Nintendo, so definitely looking forward to trying this out. It looks, from what I've heard, it's, it's a very difficult game, but it looks a lot of fun. And I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, so I'm definitely excited to try that out. And the last game I picked up was also a complete in-box Super Nintendo game. It's a series that I haven't played in a while. I think the last game I played on the series was, whew, like on, it's on the NES. Um, I don't want to say the name because you'll know what it is. But when I saw this sitting there and I had a chance to pick it up in, in a trade, um, I definitely had to pick it up. So I grabbed it and that was Ultima Ruins of Virtue 2. Complete in box, really nice shape. This also comes with the baggie. So I'm really happy to be able to add this. Um, the NES version that I played was King's Quest, so I, I didn't want to say it because if I said it then you guys would know what it is. But I'm really looking forward to trying this game out as well. And there you have it guys, that's everything I picked up over the last little bit. I really hope you enjoyed. It's an awesome thing when you can declutter some of your stuff, cut down your collection a little bit, get rid of the stuff that you really have no intention of ever using, and bringing in some awesome stuff that's always a plus and I wish I could do one of these every week or every two weeks or every month but yeah it was just fun I, I enjoyed it while I had it um, if you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week